ladies, before you throw that cat around, let them know that they will fall in love. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for joining me and ultimately thank you so much for gracing your presence here on my channel. I truly appreciate you stopping by. Let's go ahead and get into this topic for today because hey, there's a lot of say so in the say so realm. <laughs> yes, ladies, let me let you in a little tea, okay? A little tea no shame. If you pass around that kitty cat, okay? First off, let's backtrack. This is definitely um, PG-13 type of video, not made for kids at all. Definitely people who are 18 and up who are uh, who are liable to throw it around more often than none. So, now that disclaimer's out the way, my ladies, my grown folks, bring it in. Before you throw that kitty cat around, come on now, ladies. Y'all need to let these men, these women, your partner, know they're going to fall in love with you. And they might not like that, okay? They might not like the fact that they are so madly in love with you because of the goods you just laid on them. You gotta let them know up front what the deal is, how good it is, and what's gonna happen for the from the result of it by saying them, by telling them, listen, <laughs> let me let you on a little secret. My thing thing can have you swinging chicken bone. Hello, they're gonna be eating it up. <laughs> It's gonna be that good for them to want to kind of become have a possessive nature. I'm telling you, ladies, like we have it so good. Sometimes we don't know how good we have it. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Because we have it. And we have what they want. So why not before they get obsessive and want to stalk us? We let them know heads up. Hey, it's going to have you going bajonkers. <laughs> so, am I the words I'm creating today? It's just out of this wall. It's going to have you so crazy that it's going to be therapeutic for you. Because when I cut you off, at least I warned you. Ooh, ooh. Okay. That's what I, that's what I want to get into. Because we love, especially as young women. Now, this topic ranges in ages just depending on who you are and how well you slang but um definitely for my young women who are listening to the music of today's times where it's all about that little meal so when before you even step into that ideology i said that wrong before you even step into that idea in that realm in that atmosphere of empowerment by slanging and thanging you need to let these men know what they're dealing with up front because some of these men when you give it to them one time ladies they gonna want it multiple they gonna get so possessive of what you have that they gonna stalk you they gonna call your phone late at night they gonna quit their job hello they might even lose their job before they even quit. You know, they, they love their money, but they might lose their job because they, you know. <laughs> but this is to be true. This is this is something that needs to be said. Clear the air, okay? Because I don't want you ladies walking around with men that are just like salivating after your thirst or after what you can give them and provide. So if you let them know heads up, hey, and it can be a simple conversation. Hey, let me sit you down before I set it down. And I just want you to know that I don't want you to fall in love with me because that's not what I'm looking for. I just need here and now and then you'll be gone. Simple as that. Sometimes being up front with the people that you encounter or the people that you call your partner up front 
it helps them understand not that they will be more <laughs> uh, capable to withstand your presence but at least they will understand hey she let me know up front before I even taste a bit of her juice there's gonna be some kind of attachment that I'm gonna feel with her or with him whoever, whomever your partner is so by saying this I say it's okay to partake in things that you enjoy as far as in who you enjoy them with, what you do in that enjoyment. But we gotta give these men more heads up because these men are becoming stupid, idiotic, and um, problematic to say the least because we don't let them know what we're working with. Yeah, they may hear it in a song. Yeah, it may be interesting it may be funny at first but when these men start blowing up your phone and you because ladies i know right now answer me this how many times have you changed your number because of a man or because someone wouldn't leave you alone after you done did it to them be real leave it in the comments let me know just between you and i will keep the tea <laughs> but it is to be true and on a serious note sometimes it can become dangerous because you don't know who you're dealing with you may think oh my gosh this person is attractive they have an attracting nature they have this essence about them but then once you slang 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 and bing, 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 then they're like oh snap i love you <laughs> and you're like huh I'm young, fun, dipping it, doing it. I don't need love right now. I just wanted to fling. That's it. I just wanted to fly. And that's sometimes they don't grasp that idea right off the bat. Of course, you can be upfront with somebody as much as possible, and they still won't get the idea because, like I said, in today's society, these men are becoming dumber and dumber and more traceable with their foolishness. But just putting it out there lets you know you've done right by yourself. And you're not just... Okay. And you're not just giving or you're not taking and not giving anything in return. Sometimes all they need is a conversation and that's as much as you can give verbally after you take physically <laughs> so don't be so caught up that you don't be honest with your partner because a lot of times that can save trials and tribulations as we've discussed prior more times often than none and it can cause less stress on you because now you don't feel bad for dipping it and doing it and leaving it and you know of course sometimes we do have women hello that can dip it do it get up not call you the next day not cuddle afterwards and it be wish wash hands clean done but then there is later in life when you're doing shadow work or when you're reflecting and you're like dang did i really just treat him like a man did i really just dip it and do it can we have some class ladies when we're dipping it and doing it and chasing after this attachment that these men so hardly want from us right so all i'm asking is to make your life more simpler and to live in a more proud state and encouraging and empowerment uh, presence let these men know because they show waste no time talking that stuff up about how good they are in bed or how sweet you've made them feel or how you know how much we just mm -mm for them it's time let's let's take back our woman essence our class and say hey i know you're gonna fall in love with me but just be careful because if i cut you off don't be upset let them know what it is it, it will save so much more problems and so much issues and so much train wreck in the future especially when you're dealing with a mature partner now
for immature people. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll let you know. I don't know. I don't know. That one's hard. Because no matter what you tell them, they won't listen. They're just a fool for it. And you can't argue with a fool. That's just one bottom line thing you have to know, have to learn, and have to obtain in your uh, existence. You can't argue with a fool. They're going to be a fool no matter what. But when you deal with somebody mature and somebody who understands what that thing, how it pops, and how it gives off greatness, lets the, it lets them know that they're dealing with a woman and not a, just a regular female. You know, it brings more character and appreciation in yourself. That way, um, when they do start spreading news, because you know, men, men like women, they spill tea all the time, especially nowadays, you can't get rid of them. But when they do talk about you, it'll be in such a way where other people will respect you. And that's my whole point to this video. When you swinging and dangin' it, have some dignity about yourself to where other people, your partner, will respect you enough to say, hey, thank you. You're not like most women. That boosts your confidence on a whole other level and not that you need it. But it lets you know that you're growing in this life that we call you know you're growing and you're becoming mature about who you're dealing with because again if you don't have that mature conversation up front whether it's about um of course whether um it being about sex it being about who their other partners are It makes it that much more enjoyable because you know you're not dealing with a fool and you know you're not dealing with somebody excuse me let me choose my words correctly you're not dealing with somebody who's immature and who doesn't know how to handle that kitty cat okay because when they know how to handle and caress and hold and grip and ooh, you found you find this appreciation for what it's worth because it's hard to say I know what I'm worth or I know what that is worth without giving it up okay and please do not come for me and don't get it misconstrued no you do not have to give it up to know what it's worth but to know what it's worth to other people it takes in a mature way of course to that experience because now you know oh this person is salivating after me this person is thirsting this person is blowing up my phone this person is calling my mom this person is calling my <laughs> boss <laughs> then you start to find value and you start to appreciate what you're giving and maybe then after you won't sling it around so much um, because you know how much attraction you're bringing and how much abundance of lust and flirtatious nature that comes with your whole essence of being a woman so again let me repeat no you do not have to give it up to know what it's worth but to know the value and to to understand it does take that experience to it it does take a mature experience and an encountering like so for you to understand not to give it up so frequently and that's all I'm trying to prove. That's all I'm trying to prove. You bouncing around, sweetie, when you need to be sitting in place with your legs crossed and knowing even after I give it up, I'm still a lady. I'm not this thought pocket that people want to call women nowadays, which is absurd. I'm not this um, hold down, toe down. And, you know, I'm not all these other words, these meaningless words that they give the characteristics of a woman i'm not that at least i'm no longer in that stage because now i've grown to appreciate my body i've grown to appreciate what's down there because of the the reaction that it gets but because of the reaction i get when i say no i'm done with you i don't want it anymore 
So it's, it's very helpful to understand and to know the power of your meow. So by knowing that and by learning that and obtaining that crucial, valuable knowledge, you're able to, in my experience, you're able to find love a lot more quicker than trotting on for being a bachelorette for so many years if that's only if that's not what you're choosing to be um because and i say that just because when you're allowed to when you sit longer in that thought of maturity and the presence that your meow gives then you're able to say i don't want to just give it up to anybody i don't want to just give it up to somebody who is don't have anything to lose you know, I have a lot to lose. And one being this kitty cat that surrounds my whole essence. And a lot of times we slang and bang and hip and hop because we're looking for love in all the wrong places. Anyway, that concludes that video, this video. <laughs> we'll get into that topic on another video. I so appreciate you guys sticking around and listening to what I have to say. Please, if you find someone maybe younger than you, older than you, that you feel like is just needing to, you know, understand the value of themselves just a little bit more. It's not just call them out on their BS and it's not to say that they're doing a sinful act. It's just saying, hey, let me help you understand or let me just show you and tell you or explain to you, you know, what you really could be doing to get what you really want, okay? Because you can get a lot more when you know what you're working with. And ladies, you know what I'm talking about when I say you get what you want. <laughs> so share this with someone who could really use this explanation or who could just use this tip in their life because we're all here to help each other grow. Even as cringing or detailed as it may seem, if we're not helping each other grow, we're depleting our human race, guys. And that's something that's very sad to see in this world today. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and hearing everything that I had to talk about. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. You know that was coming. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I wanna see you back here again. Hello, <laughs> let's talk some more, let's spill the tea. Let's give the goods inside a, com a healthy conversation to help each other thrive some people holding out on these secrets okay some people holding out on these tips where they can help you thrive just a little bit better and hold yourself accountable and be a little bit stronger in your worth and destined existence <laughs> so thank you guys again i appreciate you and if you made it to this end of and if you made it to the end of this video and you're like janae huh what are you wearing today well thanks for asking i am wearing number 20 teach me how to flirt today. I wore it the other day, but I just felt like it was so needed in this video and it was just, you know, <laughs> the tea to the, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> so you can find this color and all of my other products on jfinessebeauty.com and I also have something coming for jfinessebeauty.com. So please stay tuned. Please subscribe, like this video if you like this content and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.